pick that one hunt back at you. Uh, this is the power line I was on when I found the hairs, and I'm going down to it now. I just came up this a little too far. Like I said, I walked two miles this the first time, and I only found one set of hair, and I'll show you where that's at. I'm looking for footprints. I've seen mountain lion tracks. I've seen coon tracks. I've seen coyote tracks, but I ain't seen the big boy tracks. The only thing I can say is they're good at covering their stuff up. That's all I can say. As far as footprints, the juveniles, yeah, they're like a dime a dozen. I'm used to them little kids. I'm used to them. Check some poles over down here. Let's check his first pole here. Reddish brown color. There's black hair right there. It's got a little curl in it right there. You can see right there. That's human hair. It looks like human hair too. there for right now okay now we get down to the other pole okay now I'm starting now you can see I'm starting to get some hair samples here now but I already got a sample that color that I can still got I haven't sent that away yet I haven't sent that away yet but um But anyway, that's, I enjoy doing this so damn much. But, you know, that's something to do. Okay, ooh, let me show you something else. Yodi track. Right here. Right now, that's a Yodi track. Pieces of it. There's some more, see, right there. That's a pup, they're pups. These are young ones. The young ones always walk on a trail. Well, actually, I just heard something in the woods. Actually, they both, a coyote, if they can, if they don't have to, they'll take them, they'll take them walk a trail before they, they take the easiest route. It's like a deer. A deer is like a crow. You take one way and one way on the side the ridges or something like that there's a trail and they feel comfortable they'll walk it otherwise now they'll stay in the woods coyote well they're everywhere the ones around here i've been hunting for years and i run a coyote hunting business so now's the time i'm starting to look for coyote tracks anyway so i know this power line's a good place for tracks okay let's check this pole right here Look at here now. Oh my goodness. There's hair right there. Hair right there. Hair right there. There's hair all over this damn tree. I mean, all over this pole. Whew. There's another one right here. Look at that one. Wow. Look at that one. Let me get the side shot on it. Look at that one. I might take that one. Let me see up further. Look at the claw marks here. All right. That's human, baby. That's human. 
I know I shouldn't be touching it, but I already got samples of it. Look at this. That feels like human hair. It feels like wool, almost woolish. Like human. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's take a good look at this here. Okay. Yeah. It's got a reddish color to it. And it feels like human hair. It doesn't feel like, yeah, it's definitely human type hair. Okay. But everybody says, what are you doing there? Take samples of it. I got samples of it. All I'm doing is just checking right now until I get down to my main pole. But you can see something that's been clawing this, this pole here. Now, that could be a bear. I don't know. But bear hair is not that long, period. Their hair is only, wow. Look at that one, that's about two inches right there. Wow. There's red hair here. If you look at red hair, or there's a blonde, yeah. That must have been that, that blonde female I've seen was that baby. That's cool. So I know there's still going in there. Now, if you walk that way, it takes you to a subdivision of houses called Gertie's Lane and everything. Uh, yeah. A booby booby boo boo. Dooby 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 doo. Don't you don't. Yeah. Okay. I'm just making sure, keeping track of things. Now you got open pine thicket in there. You got pines and hardwoods all in there. It's pretty clear. It goes all the way up. You got Gertie's Lane over there, so it's about a mile that way. And every time. Let's check this pole here. See what we've got. Same thing here. Scratch marks. But here we go. There's one here right there. Let me go right this here. Here right there. That's over. That's over two inches long. I'll leave that there. I'll come back to the next tree. I keep saying tree at power line poles. Poles. Pine poles. Doop 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 doop. Doopy doo 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 doo. Doopy doo 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 doo. I say baby, I say baby. <laughs> yeah, if you try to drive a vehicle back here, they'll lock you up quicker than, quicker than snot shit. They can do it, but if we do it, we're tearing it up. If they do it, they're conservationists. I'm sure it's shit too, and goose his ass with diarrhea. Right now we got a girl in Donna, game warden. She thinks I'm nutty as a fruitcake. She loves me to death, and I love her to death. Now she thinks I'm nutty on the fruitcake when it comes to, comes to this squash thing. I showed her tracks when I first met her. And she took about half an hour, but she finally admitted that, uh, that there were researchers here looking for squash on top of the parkway, but they're not having any luck. 
Well, what do you know? I'm down here at the bottom. I got all sorts of freaking luck. Oh, goodness, look at this. Ooh, that's a track right there. That's a big something. Okay, look at this, more hair, hmm, more hair, wow, hmm, right there, right there, I see right there, right there, let me try to pull that off, I ain't clawing the hell out of this tree, here we go, right there, right there. Okay. Okay. Let me set my camera up here. Get a good view here. All right. Take tape measure. Measure from here, from here to the ground. That right there was eight feet high.
got some good DNA. I got some hair. I got some good hair at the roots. I got some good samples right here. folks that's a that's the root right. pretty interesting huh